Okay, now I would like to um, introduce our senior class officers and student council co-presidents. Senior class president, Abby Souder. Senior, senior class secretary, Lucy Lee. Senior class treasurer, Mary Bergwell. Duco co-president, Mina Sridhara. And student co-president, Jan Kelty. Freshman year began with a mixture of new feelings. Anxiety, excitement, panic. The first day of school, we learned which side of the hallway to walk on, how to navigate the seeming maze of Blue Valley North, and most importantly, how to avoid the upperclassmen at all costs. Despite the distress of being new kids at a big new school, we cultivated new friendships, att attended sporting events, though we were always told to move back, and slowly began to discover ourselves, and more importantly, our passions. As sophomores, we became accustomed to the routine of high school, and we began to broaden our worldviews through AP Euro and our Western Civilization courses. We were the last class to have Skiles. We sat through hours of Chonko's monotone, and most notably, we ruined the 1984 simulation. We came together after the shooting of 2014 to attend the first seven days walk and show our unity. After two years together at North, we were becoming a cohesive class. Junior year crept up on us too quickly, but we were just glad that we were no longer considered underclassmen. Many of us spent months buried under books, averaged four hours of sleep a night, and forgot that the world doesn't revolve around standardized testing and A-push. Four of our very talented ladies scored a 36 on the ACT, hashtag girl power, and, and our future Olympian, Sam DeSetti, qualified for the Olympic time trials for swimming in Omaha. We all worked extremely hard, overcame our greatest challenges, and finally began thinking about our futures with countless college visits and our junior conferences. While junior year was probably our most productive year, we could not wait to be seniors. When senior year finally rolled around, it was packed with sentiment and nostalgia. It was suddenly time for the lasts, the last first day of school, the last homecoming, and the last poorly executed senior skip day. <laughs> While it was riddled with randomness, who could forget our earthquake in the middle of Kansas or school being canceled because it got kind of cold, it perfectly captured the quirks of our class. We had four winners of assassins, we broke the scholarship record, and we threw arguably the coolest parking lot party North has ever seen. We began senior year with a countdown, and now that it's over, it seems that it has all come to a close too soon. But our final year is wrapping up, Mustangs, and we must look to the future to forge ahead. Now, with the experiences we have gained and the relationships we have made, we stand here today on the precipice of the future. We began high school as children, but we're leaving here as adults. We've completed a basic education that will serve as the platform we use to launch ourselves into our futures. Some of us will go on to college, other, others will go straight into the workforce, but each of us will travel, travel our own path. No matter where we go or what we do, there are challenges ahead of us. What I'm asking of each of you and of myself is to meet those challenges straight on with your head held high and your heart open wide. It's not enough to simply try to get by in life that doesn't move the world forward. You must try to excel in everything you do and strive for excellence in every task, because that's what makes us Mustangs. We are artists, entrepreneurs, athletes, musicians, and nerds. We are passionate, creative, hardworking, and unrelenting. We are the Blue Valley North class of 2017, and I can't wait to see what we will accomplish in the future. It's been a great four years to be a Mustang. <laughs>